Hello everyone and welcome. Uh, my name is Ali Agogi and I am the president of Asia Pacific. <laughs> Hello everyone, thank you Alia. My name is Vanessa, I'm the HR VP uh, for Asia. Nice to see you all. Today we're going to take the opportunity to take you through the global engagement survey and really the objectives behind it. Knowing that actually half of our teams are working remotely at home today in China, in Shanghai, while the rest of our teams are finally experiencing a reopening of our market and coming together physically in our offices. So what is the objective of the Global Engagement Survey? To get a chance to hear honest opinions and your voices. To get a deeper understanding of how you actually feel working in Sephora. And trying to make Sephora a better place for all, from an employee experience perspective, but also from a customer experience perspective. This is the second year we've been doing this and we're constantly learning. Um, it's great to be able to compare and contrast between how you were feeling last year and how you're feeling this year, knowing that the reality is we are now going into year three of our COVID situation and we've been crisis managing for the last three years. But also it allows us to provide accountability for the actions that we put in place last year with our managers based on the feedback that you gave. Yeah, and yeah, actually, I know you're a big supporter of the uh, Asia HR strategy. And one of the ways for us to build the best HR strategies is actually to first listen to our people. So this is very important for us uh, to have the data and to compare the data uh, with last year so that we can read uh, through, you know, the multiplicity of the feedback about what you think about the employee experience and for us to reflect on what we have done well and what we can do better. So what did we do since last year? Um, knowing that the context is that we're continuing to deal with the COVID crisis. Well, you told us around communicating with us, with you guys better. So we held a number of different communication town halls, whether that be across the whole of Asia, both from China and Southeast Asia. So really trying to communicate what was a very complex changing environment and how our priorities continuously had to change. We also heard you around career conversations and trying to understand how to progress our talent inside the organization. And a number of career conversations took place. This lady did at least 150 to 200 of them. But also what came out from, from the engagement survey last year was work-life balance. I think we all realized that actually there was very little barrier between office and home when you're working from home constantly. And so we started to kick off our standards of a hybrid model of working from home. Three days in the office, all together, building a physical culture, enjoying time together, being able to speak to each other quicker, more effectively, more efficiently, creating team cultures, but also allowing that flexibility, I'm a working mother, to be able to work from home when you need to on two of the days. We also gave wellness days off, knowing that people were exhausted and tired and ensuring they were able to sort of take a break from it all after fighting for so much time. And then finally, something that I, I speak to, and I know my muscle is pretty good, which is the resilience muscle. And we held workshops across uh, from the time that COVID started and obviously now going into June of this year. So I hope you find that some of the actions we've taken really helped you. And the more you continue to give us feedback through the engagement survey, the more actions we can continue to build on in the subsequent year. Thank you, Aya. Thank you for sharing with us all these actions. So from a concrete point of view, what are we asking you to do? Uh, basically, you will see uh, a personalized email coming to you for the people who are at the office. And uh, you will see a scan for the ones who are at the uh, 
at, uh, in the stores, and you will have uh, basically from the 31st of May to the 14th of June to fill in this survey. And I want to ensure to you that everything is confidential and that no one will have access to your individual responses. Excellent. Don't hold back, honestly. So it takes 10 minutes uh, to speak up and make your employee experience a really meaningful one, a one that helps us understand truly how you're, how you're feeling in this company. It continues to build a culture of feedback and listening and transparency and honesty, knowing that actually many of us are now returning back to offices and I hope that our teams and teammates in Shanghai will be doing that soon as well. So let me say a huge thank you in advance Take the time, tell us how you feel, tell us how you think, and we look forward to getting that honest feedback. But also, most importantly, it makes Sephora a better place to work and empowers the extraordinary in all of us. Thank you so much. Thank you.